Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Javier and I am here to give you comprehensive guides to modded Minecraft. If you haven't already, please do click that subscribe button. I am going to be posting twice a week now showing you mod reviews and spotlights. So if you do like the video you see today, please click that thumbs up and again, please don't forget to subscribe. We're going to be going through today the Water Strainer mod. This is available all the way from 1.12 up to 1.18.2 currently. What this mod does is it gives you the opportunity to passively fish or strain uh, for items in the water and you've got these fishermen's strainers here which we'll be going into in a minute and these give you all sorts of fish and rotten flesh etc and then there's the survivalists ones which give you some raw materials. So you're going to need a few items for this mod to get started. So the first few things you're going to want is there's these basic crafting materials which is the string mesh and that is literally just four string in a crafting table, the iron mesh, which is iron bars, and obsidian mesh, which is obsidian. For the rest of the recipes, I will assume you have JEI installed. I would say that is a mandatory mod for all modded experiences. And the recipes will be on the screen. So you're, what you're going to want to get is this garden trowel. And what this garden trowel does is you can use it on dirt and farmland to find bait or worms. And on dirt and grass, it has a 25% chance to find worms. And on farmland, it's a 50% chance. You can use fortune to increase the chance by 25% per level. So it can be enchanted. You're going to want to just break the dirt. And you can see I've got some worms there. And then again, if I place these back down and if I hoe it into farmland, it's going to give me a 50% chance. You can see most of the time we are getting the worms. And that's how you get the bait. So you can then get these worm bins, and if we right click into here, so you can put things like apples in here and it will compost them. And this is a progress bar, and because it goes so fast, you can see there is literally, doesn't even move on here. It does also provide fertilizer, and this will work exactly the same as bone meal. And then, of course, you get your worms. Then we can move on to the strainers. So there are three types of each one. So for survivalists, there is 120 uses, and then you have the solid survivalists, which adds another 10% efficiency. This has 720 uses, and then there's the reinforced one, which is 8640 uses, and it's 25% efficiency. This is also enchantable, and you can enchant this with efficiency and fortune and luck of the sea and unbreaking, etc., as you'd imagine. Same again goes for the fisherman's one, so same amount of uses, 120, 720, and 8640. 40 and it's only the last ones which are the reinforced ones that are enchantable from the survivalists ones in the survivalists strainer you can get these items and in this order it's a 30 percent chance to get sand a 20 percent chance to get dirt a 20 percent chance to get sticks 15 percent chance to get clay 13 percent chance to get gravel and it's a 1% chance to get iron nuggets and a 1% chance to get golden nuggets. And with the fisherman's strainer, you have a 60% chance to get cod, a 25% chance to get salmon, a 13% chance to get pufferfish, 2% chance to get tropical fish, 8% chance to get sticks, 4% chance to get string, 4% chance to get leather, 4% chance to get rotten flesh, 4% chance to get bones, 4% chance to get glass bottles, 2% chance for lily pads, 2% chance for vines, and it's a 1% chance to get the enchanted book. Now to actually use these, you're going to want a strainer base, and these don't go in water like this, because it needs the water above it. So you need to make sure it at least goes one block down, for example here, and then you take your strainer, and you put it in there like that. And then you can right click into the bottom of the strainer. And you can see here it says status, no problems detected, which is all good. There is a progress bar which is slowly filling up. And at 100% it will then obviously do the chance for an item. And that will go down here. You can input and output from the bottom of the strainer. Obviously using other mods. For example, if you want to put in the bait. If you do put in bait and you're using a survivalist's one. It will come up saying bait redundant. But the strainer will still work. And the bait are only needed for the fisherman's ones. And if we, you can also swap them out in here, like this, in the actual GUI. 
And then obviously with the fisherman's ones, it's going to need bait. So you can put that in there. Another thing you can also get is the bait pot. And this has 128 uses and this will decrease bait consumption. And you just plop that in there. This has a 50% chance to not use a bait. So it's not a 100% chance, it's a 50% chance to not use bait when you get an item. Of course, these also have only a certain amount of uses, and you can see here we're getting our items. Now, there is then the efficiency meter, which you can right-click on a strainer base to measure its efficiency. If we click on this one here, we can see we've got bonus efficiency of 40%, strainer type is giving 25%, enchantments are giving none, fluid level is giving none, and the biome is giving 15, and there's no adjacent strainers taking away from that either. If you want to know how to increase the efficiency, the strainer used obviously affects this, which, you know, if you use the better ones, it's going to be better. And being in a deep ocean biome will give you a 10% bonus. Being in a beach biome, which is where we are now, is a 15% bonus. And then if you're in a river biome, it will give you a 20% bonus. Being below a flowing water block rather than a source one also gives another 10% bonus. And then when it's below a flowing water block, each block away, so the further it is away from that flowing water block, will give a 3% penalty on that. This corresponds to like the level when it says flowing. That's what the level fluid level means. And then each other strainer base in the eight horizontally adjacent blocks will also give a 15% penalty. I did actually test this out. I'm playing in 1.18 at the moment. And the flowing water, etc. didn't actually seem to make any difference at all. So there may be a bug, I'm not sure. But let me know in the comments if you have the same problem or if you can get it to work. For me, it didn't, but this is what the wiki is telling me. The base time it takes for the strainer to actually catch an item is a random number between 25 and 35 seconds. Once determined, bonus efficiency affects it in the following way. And I will put the calculation on the screen if you're interested in that. It's very technical. This means that, for example, a 25% efficiency will reduce the time between two catches by 20%. Therefore, it's providing about 25% more items per unit of time, while minus 100% efficiency will double the time it takes between two catches. I hope that was informative, guys. It's a pretty simple mod that adds some really basic items, but I think this is really quite useful for getting some extra food or materials in sort of your early modded journey. Again, if you haven't already subscribed, please do click that button below. I really appreciate it. As I said, I will now be posting twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. So if any mod suggestions you have, please do let me know. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.